All right, everybody. As you saw, I took pictures along the way of doing this feed bunk here. Um, these were some more of the Muse panels that I had from back when I had like a feed rail or whatever you want to call it. You know, these feeder panels that I fed the my calves on the outside back when I used to raise Holstein. So I grabbed them. And I just went down and picked up some three foot pieces of one inch square tubing this morning so I could make this square. And I picked up some two and a half angle here for legs. As you can see, we have about a foot, a foot, inch and a half here gap. And I wanted that so if there's any water, it would run out or whatever. I didn't want the board sitting right on the concrete. So that's how we have this done. Um, I don't know how well this is going to hold up here in the center. Um, it should be just fine. Otherwise, I might have to weld something on there to support it, but I don't think it's going to matter because they're not really going to be pushing on it from the outside, and the silage is just kind of going to kind of contain it a little bit so it's not falling out everywhere. So, and this feeder panel here is all bent crazy, but we got it. It's good enough for what it's going to get used for. Um, these cheap one inch tubes will rot out before anything else. So, uh, for right now, this is what we're going to throw out there. Um, use it until we're done feeding silage, and then um, during the summer, we'll use the big feeder. We'll put two round bales in there every time we have to, and then we'll just keep feeding grain separate. So, um, this is kind of going to be the silage bunk feeder. So, like I say, it'll only get used for a little bit longer and then it'll be done until this fall. But I wanted to build it so I have it for next winter because they they have a lot of waste. Um, you know that other bale feeder out there just has the legs. It doesn't have anything in the bottom. So they're sorting through it and feed's falling out and then they're kicking it around and it's just wasting it. So um, this way you shouldn't really have that problem anymore. So hopefully the let, rest of my corn silage will last a little bit longer so so yeah now I need to uh, try and flip this thing over and make sure that all my welds are done um, I can't remember if I welded those on the other side I do not think I did so I need to weld them and just double check all the welds and get the skid loader and get it out of here so anyhow there's a three foot wide by 12 foot long feed bunk when hopefully with this they can reach the center I know I mentioned before uh, narrowing up my other feeder, but I don't want to do that because I want to be able to put two three round bales in there at a time so um, I'd still like to try and figure out a way to cover it kind of to keep the rain off the hay, but We'll see what happens. So I just decided to use these panels and throw this together. You know the panels were already here I think I have $90 into the lumber and the rest of the steel to do it. So what the heck might as well use it It's just sitting all back riding anyways, you know the the feeder panels were so what the heck but anyhow that's what's going on all right everybody so the bunk has been in there for about half an hour to an hour now as you can see there is no feed or literally no feed on the ground right there normally that's where they spill so much ain't that right princess you gotta be the star of the show that princess you gotta be the star of the show you goofus so that's what it looks like. <clears throat> so I kind of think that as the herd grows, I'm probably either going to have to build a second one, <clears throat> or what I might do is build another one bigger, probably 24 feet long instead of 12 foot, and then make it out of 2x2 two two square tubing. Um, and those are just two 2x8s two on the bottom, and I cut the legs 16 inches long. So on the next one if I build it I might go 2x10s or possibly even 2x12s um, and then do the same so it has like an inch and a half two inches on the bottom just to keep the wood up off the concrete so they are spilling a little bit right there but nothing like they were before so yeah anyhow that's what it's looking like one step at a time but <clears throat> I don't really have those two feeder panels, so I figure I might as well use them. They can rot out all here and break, and then we'll throw them away and we'll build a new one. New and improved, bigger and better. That's what we do. And when you do most of the metal fab work yourself, it doesn't cost that much. 
So, so yeah. Anyhow, these kids need to uh, start getting some more corn in their diets. They start putting on a little bit more weight. So, but hopefully the snow continues to melt and the ice continues to melt so I can start getting some of this stuff cleaned up and be nice to start hauling manure out one of these days, but I guess it's not April yet, so we take what we get. So, so yeah, anyhow, <clears throat> so what it's looking like. There's a bunch of pork, or not pork chops, sirloin steaks and hamburgers and roast and all you name it. Look at all that in there getting fat. They're right. Ain't that right, Goofus Rufus? Eh, ain't that right, Goofus Rufus? You know, you got all that in there to eat. You want to eat my hand. You know, it is what it is, isn't it? It is what it is. Yeah, Gomer. Yeah, Gomer. Yes. All right. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. And until the next project, stay tuned and we'll catch you later.